Hello everyone, it's Michelle here. Welcome to another Chris Watts video. I do hope you're doing well. In a letter that Chris wrote to Sherilyn Cadle, he felt that there was evil spirits in the house. Well, a lot of my commenters, I think, rightly said that the only evil person in that house was Chris himself. There are possibilities that other people were involved, that there was accomplices, and there's lots of talk. If he was acting on his own, how could he get Shanann? She was, what, 144, 148 pounds, and she was a dead weight. So how could he transport her into his truck on his own? There had to be an accomplice. The shadows under the truck, I know some people don't believe them, but it's clear to me that Chris picked up a child, or a small person with a small shadow. Two children, in fact. Go and watch my previous video on that. But how did he get Shanann into the truck? Was it that somebody else helped him and Shanann was transported from the back? Well, my argument is, if Shanann was transported from the back, you know, through the basement, through the Mickey Mouse window and through the garden and then picked up at the back, why weren't the children transported in the same way. Well, I think I found some evidence as to how Chris could have done this on his own. And um, I've watched the body cam in the basement so many times because of the dog footage. But this was one of the first searches. And the camera, the body cam of the police officer pans onto this. This is Chris's workout gear. This is Chris's home gym. And what you can see there is a bench press machine. Look at the size of the weights on the barbell. In the UK, we measure these things in kilograms. So you can have 10 kilogram weights, 20 kilogram weights, 25 kilogram weights. The majority of my viewers are from the US. So this is just from Amazon. Uh, and these are the weights that you put on a barbell in pounds. So as you can see, you know, these are the same size, but they're different thicknesses. If Chris was bench pressing and he worked out every day, if he was bench pressing his shoulder muscles, even if he wasn't lifting particularly heavy weights, you know, he wasn't a power lifter, even if he was only, you know, toning and he wasn't bulking, he was using the weights to lose weight, to tone his body. He's probably lifting lighter weights more often. So lighter weights with more repetitions. So although from that angle, from that picture, I can't tell the exact weight of each of those weights. If they were 20 kilogram weights, then he's lifting, what, 90 pounds per repetition. If they were 25 kilogram weights, then he's lifting over 100 pounds per repetition. Working out every day, he's going to have very strong shoulders and very strong core. He doesn't look very much there, doesn't look very much muscle there. He probably had a very strong core and strong shoulders. And that's exactly what you need to be able to pick up a dead weight, you know, like a dead body, like Chris Watts, I argue, did with Shanann. Look, I'm a girl and I'm old. This is me in 2019, so it's about 18 months ago, and I'm doing dumbbell curls, and I've got 10 kilograms on each arm, or 22 pounds on each arm, and I can dumbbell curl those, so just my biceps, and I don't look strong. I have a history of weight training, of gym work, of martial arts, so Anybody who's working out regularly, I mean, I don't work out regularly these days, but Chris did, you know, they could be as heavy as 100 pounds. He could be bench pressing as much as 100 pounds given those weights if they were 25 or 20 kilogram weights. But even if there were less, if he was doing more repetitions, his core would have been really strong. And you can see here the muscle groups that bench pressing builds. Yeah, like I said, the strong shoulders, the strong kind of chest muscles 
and the core abdominals would have been exactly what he needed. He could drag Shanann down the stairs and then pick her up like a fireman's lift. You know, firefighters pick up unconscious people out of fires that are essentially dead weights. So if Chris used a fireman's lift, carried her through the, the garage, out into the, the front garden, and then I can imagine that he would kind of flop her forward onto the back seat and then just roll her onto the bed of the truck. When I was in my 20s, I did jiu-jitsu, which is a martial art. And I used to train with men and I used to be able to shoulder throw, so literally throw a grown man who weighed considerably more than me. Like I was probably about 10 and a half stone at the time. So about 145 to 150 pounds. And there used to be men that trained with me who were perhaps 15, 16 stone. And I could literally throw them over my shoulder. It's more about technique and having really good core abdominal muscles than anything else. It's perfectly possible that Chris could lift Shanann into the truck. I'm always open to the possibility that there were accomplices, but I'm leaning towards, and I've always leant towards this, although I do speculate, I think Chris did those murders himself. He could have easily transported Shanann, carried her, dragged her down the stairs, carried her to the truck, and then put Bella and Cece in. But what happened next? I argue that people knew afterwards, or at least one person knew afterwards. Can you guess who that might be? So let me know what you think in the comments. This is just a short video today. More Chris Watts videos to follow. I hope you're enjoying the channel. I've been Michelle. I hope you're well. And I'll speak to you in the next video. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggy dog. It's a brand new way. What you waiting for? Get up, stretch out. Get on the floor. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggy dog. Hot dog, hot dog. Thank you,